Hi everyone, it's Rebecca here. Um, right, I've had a bit of a think about it and I've done myself a, a bucket list um, or a, um, a list of things that I'd like to achieve um, post-surgery um, and I'm just going to go through them. Uh, they're not in any particular order so I'm going to try and put them into an order as I'm reading them so bear with me for a minute. Okay, um, and some of these are really small, uh, but others are quite, um, would be quite massive achievements. So um, I'm leaving those, the bigger ones, if you like, uh, till last. So the first uh, initial um, things would be things like uh, going into toilet cubicles forwards instead of sideways. Um, when I go out shopping, whenever I go out shopping and I have to use public loose, I always, the cubicles are so narrow that I always have to enter them sideways, um, which is really annoying. Um, they're just not, you know, they're, they're just really not built for the larger lady or the larger gentleman for that matter. Um, uh, another thing I'd like to do is to buy clothes from any shop that I choose on the high street um, instead of the specific ones that I have to go to at the moment. Um, namely in the UK that's Evans, um, but you can get some larger clothes now in, in, bigger, in general stores, but they still don't go up to size 24, 26. There's only New Look, I think, that, that does that sort of range on the high street. And so at the moment, my clothes come from New Look or Evans um, or out of a catalogue. And I'd like to be able to go into Gap or Topshop or um, even Next. Next only go up to sort of 20, 22 in the shop, something like that. Um, and I'm not quite there yet. So uh, that'll be nice to, if that was to happen soon. Um, and also on that same vein... Um, you may or may not have watched my other videos where I've given you my bra size. Um, it's a whole lot bigger than this, uh, but um, I'd like to wear a bra that is less than a 38E. Um, I, you know, I'd love to get into, say, a double D or a D cup or a C cup, um, and I know that will probably mean that my boobs will deflate quite a lot, but. Um, it's so heavy carrying around massive, massive boobs, um, and I don't know how people go about having fake boobs put in, uh, and they they're just enormous. Like, um, uh, you know, they've got a tiny, tiny frame, and they've got K and double L boobs and, and oh my god the back pain must be chronic with with those boobs and mine uh, as I say mine are mine are not far off but the you know the the back pain I get is bad enough so I'd like to get into a smaller bra um, and feel comfortable in a smaller bra one that I can just again pick up off the shelf doesn't have to be in a specific bra shop that does larger sizes it could be off, even off a market store for crying out loud um, another thing I'd like to do is be able to paint my own toenails um, I can't do that at the moment my tummy gets in the way um, and I can't bend my leg far enough up so uh, that's something I'd like to do um, I'd like to get a hair restyle. I've had long, or well, fairly long, middle to long hair for years and years and years and years now. Um, and because I wear glasses, it's very hard to get a restyle that will suit my glasses. So um, I'm hoping that by losing some weight, my face shape will change a little bit, will thin out a little bit here, maybe you know, look like I've had plastic surgery or something, I don't know, facelift. Um, but uh, I'm hoping that with that and my collarbone and my shoulders, I might be able to have maybe a short bob because a, sh a short bob on me, uh, I used to have them when I was very, you know, teenager and sort of size 18, 16, 18, but since then I haven't. Um, so maybe um, a different hairstyle would be quite nice. 
Um, and uh, so they're sort of like, you know, small uh, initial uh, targets, if you like. Um, I'd like to be able to go on theme on rides at theme parks. Um, you know, I we have a big uh, well, we have several big theme parks in the UK, um, but the nearest to me would be Alton Towers um, or Drayton Manor. Um, uh, so there's two different parks there, and the rides that they have there are, are fantastic. Um, and things to do but I can't I the last time I went was several years ago and I didn't dare go on half the rides because I knew that I wouldn't fit into the seats and have the brace come down and you know to hold me into the chair or whatever um, so I had awful trouble the last time I went on a ride like that so I, I haven't been on one since and it's as I say quite a few years now couldn't tell you exactly how long but it's a long time so that would be nice um, as would riding a push bike I haven't ridden a push bike in several years um, so and I know you kind of never forget how to ride a bike but I'd like to try again um, as I would to have a riding lesson and ride a horse I'd like to get back in the saddle um, I love horses and um, I, I'd quite like to at least revisit that, um, you know, thing that I used to do as a child. So that would be nice. Um, I want to take up aqua aerobics again. Uh, I used to do aqua aerobics um, uh, a few years back and loved it. It was it was a very good form of exercise for me, and I enjoyed it immensely. Um, and it's just laziness actually that I haven't been and done it since um, and now with my surgery just around the corner I can't I can go this week but after that I've got to wait a, a week or so before I can go back to that so that'll be one of my closer goals I should think um, but going, going back to doing aqua aerobics again um, uh, and I'd like to probably learn to salsa or learn to dance or something like that um, the last time I used to dance when I was a youngster um, and I also used to do gymnastics and things like that um, and uh, obviously uh, you grow up and you, you grow out of things um, but my husband and I went to uh, learn uh, slow waltz for our wedding day um, so we actually um, learned to slow waltz to the tune of our choice, the song of our choice, um, to do at our wedding. Um, and that was the last time I've actually danced. Um, so that's nine years ago now. Um, so I'd, I'd like to dance. Um, now, bigger things I'd like to do. Oh, I've just heard my son coming down, so I'm going to have to be quick. Um, Bigger things I'd like to do. I'd like to go back to school and and possibly um, get a degree. Um, I'm not very academically minded, uh, so that's a big challenge for me. Um, but I feel somehow that I've got to this point in my life, and I and I've I've done it without a degree, and I could continue to do um, to do various jobs and not need a degree um, to pursue a career and things like that. But I think it might um, open doors for me and open up new possibilities that I hadn't previously considered. So that's something I'd like to do. Um, uh, I'd like to um, go rock climbing. Uh, I did that as a child just on a like an adventure week or something and I really enjoyed that. So I'd perhaps like to try that as an adult. Um, let's see what that's like but I, at my current weight I don't think um, the ropes would hold me or they'd have to have several on me to hold me up so um, I, I guess I'll wait until I'm a little bit smaller for that um, and as would a parachute jump I quite fancy doing that um, my husband's been roped into doing one next year for um, our nephew's 
um, 18th, 18th birthday, I can't believe he's 18, yeah, for his 18th birthday next year, um, so, and he's been roped into doing that, so I kind of like to do that sort of thing with him, that's my alarm going off, so I'm going to have to make this short now, um, uh, what else, uh, I'd like to try and train to do a half marathon. I'm not even going to attempt a full marathon just yet, but um, I did a 5K um, run a few years back. Um, well, walk more or less, walk, walk and run um, in aid of uh, cancer research. So I did that a few years back um, and I enjoyed that. So I'd like to uh, up the ante a little bit and do a five, uh, do a half marathon. Um, and the other thing which is on my list, hang on a minute darling, the other thing which is on my list and the final thing is um, I'd love to have another baby um, or adopt a baby. Um, it's not a high priority of mine at this particular moment in time but I know it's something that is always in the back of my mind because I never really wanted to have an only child, so I'd like to have a little brother or sister for my for my little boy. Um, and that's that's about it at the moment. That's my bucket list. Um, and as all of you will know, your bucket list will change. Um, but those are my initial goals. Um, they're what I want to do. So here's hoping that I can achieve. Uh, some of them in a quick time and hit and looking out for the rest of them so I'll talk to you soon bye